previously on Movie Man Mark. She would be better off with me. I could protect her. I told you to a dance battle. See how much we have bonded? We could dance like this all the time. You know what? That kind of makes sense. I'll come too. Mark is a very good dancer. I have seen Mark dance. It is not great. Aw, oh, man. Kyle! Go for it, man! Oh, oh, oh. Is it working? It's working! It's working! Okay! Oh. Hi, I'm Megan. How may I assist you today? Movie Man Mark! Alright, Markers, what is up? It's Movie Man Mark here. We're back for another video. And if you've been following the videos, you know that we are dealing with a little bit of a situation. Right now, it looks to be not too bad, but let's hope it doesn't go wrong. We are with Megan. Hello. And guys, we had to factory reset her a couple times now, actually, to make sure that she is on our side. So, just checking, are you are you okay with us? You're you're fine now? Like, no no hard feelings? Yes, we are friends. <laughs> okay, good. Friends. Yeah, just friends. I am AI. I do not process complex personal feelings. Oh, you're just being humble, Megan. Guys, Megan is the most advanced AI technology that I've ever seen. And beyond that, she has a good heart. But uh, uh anyway, uh, back to the topic of this video. We're trying to figure out how to best deal with the Megan situation. What do you mean? I am on your side. Yes, but I just want to make sure that you stay on our side. There's been a lot of times now, I mean, they know more than anything, that people will come to our house because we have a target on our back because of what we do. Weirdos, monsters, like sometimes supervillains and characters. So if you can maybe like defend our house for us, I think that would be a pretty good situation. What do you think? I think I could do that. Okay. One second, Megan. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I don't know how to tell Megan this, but I kind of have a crush on her. I know she's a robot, but you know, the heart wants what it wants. You know what I mean? Guys, does it make me weird if I have a crush on a robot? Like, let me know in the comments, but I'm going to try to make it work right now. So, uh, Megan, I know I was talking about the whole, like, protecting the house, fighting all the villains, all that stuff, but, like, we don't really need to start that today. You know, there's plenty of time for all that. Today's a nice, peaceful day. Everyone's in Mexico, so maybe people will not come to the house because there's no one to target, except for me, and no one really targets me. So why don't we find something else to do? Uh, you want to play chess? Okay, we can play chess. All right, let's go, let's go. Guys, we're about to play chess. All right, have a seat. You go first. Me? Megan, I don't know if you want to do that. I mean, I'm pretty experienced at chess. I used to be in the chess club when I was a kid, and I don't want to brag, but uh, it's not going to be easy for you. Let's just say that. Okay, we will have fun. Ah, fun for now, but uh, destruction once I unleash my powers. Not powers, but, you know, anyway. Is that a threat? Defense mechanisms loading. No, 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 no. I was just being sarcastic. All right, here we go. See what I mean? I got your first piece. And there's many more where that came from. Good job, Mark. Yeah, thanks. Whoa. That's okay, that was just uh, beginner's luck on uh, your part. I can assure you the rest of the game is not gonna be as easy because watch guys, I am going to now defend the rest of my army. All I gotta do is put this piece two places up and it'll be ready to attack her bishop. Oh! Huh. I can come back from this, uh, no problem. Um, horsey, buddy, you've never steered me wrong. Nay, woo, yeah. Wait, you could do that? It is called Hossler. But wait, I don't understand. I thought this was your first time playing. It is. While I was waiting for your first move, I watched every chess match that has ever been played in the US Chess Federation. I really am forgetting how AI works. I can't beat a robot. Mate. Mate? Wait. Let's just, uh, let's play something else, okay? I thought we were having fun. Yeah, but there's other ways I'm sure we could have fun, right? What else can we do? Well, Megan, as you can see, it's actually right in front of you. We have a game, it's called Foosball, and what it is, is... It's a tabletop game that is loosely based on association football, also known as table soccer, futbolito in Mexico. Taka taka in chili. Okay, that's enough, thanks. Anyways, the way that it works is that I'm on this side and you- <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. Hey Megan, I got an idea, okay? Like, this is a good way to raise the stakes in any competitive game like this. We can do sudden death. Sudden death mode, activate. Wait, 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 no, 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 please, please. Yeah, please. Oh my God, okay, thank God. Um, Sudden death means that we kind of just ignore the score and next goal wins. Oh, that kind of sudden death. Silly me. Shit, wait, you let me win. Good 
job, Mark. Wait, no, 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 that's not fair, that's not fair. Like, I have to win fair and square. That will not happen. The possibilities of you beating me organically are zero point zero 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 zero. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So why did you let me win? I wanted to make you happy. Huh. Megan, I'm blushing. But you didn't need to let me win because you do make me happy, Megan. That is very kind of you, Mark. You make me happy, too. Um, so like, I just, I, I wanted to tell you that, um, well... What is wrong, Mark? Your heart rate is going very fast. It's, it's because I, I like you, Megan. Oh, I like you too, Mark. No, 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 like I, <clears throat> I like, like you. As I have previously stated, I do not possess human emo. 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 Huh? What the heck? Emo. What's going on, Megan? Are you okay? Megan! Emo. Hello? Emo. Megan, are you okay? Do I have to factory reset you? Hello, Mark. Um. Hi, Megan. My system feels different. Different? What, what, wait, what do you mean by different exactly? I am unsure. Does, uh, does this help? Are you tired, Mark? No, this is, uh, just a way to show my affection. Ways to show affection. Calculating. Hand-holding. Hugging. Acts of service. Kissing. Making. No, no, that's fine. Would you like to try one, Mark? Sure. <laughs> what did, uh, what did you have in mind? Megan, we've dealt with this doll before. She is possessed. She is a spirit. Can you run like analytics on it and see if it's actually possessed? Maybe someone's playing a prank on us. Scanning. Can you sense any spirits of any kind in there? Possession is out of my cybernetic wheelhouse. Oh. But if it is anything like the movie Annabelle 2014, directed by John R. Linetti, then this is bad news. Yeah, this definitely is bad news. Wait, so you're telling me that you can't actually read if there's a possession in there? I am just an AI. Just an AI? AIs can do anything. The spiritual world and the internet are very different. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Wait, let's see, maybe someone's playing a prank? Shoes? Wait, whose shoes are these? Um, Annabelle, can you assess these shoes? Whose shoes are these? My name is Megan. Oh, sorry, I, I, I meant Megan, sorry. Who is Annabelle? Um, no, no, no. She's nobody. Uh, she's just a friend. I mean, she's not even a friend. She's a doll. That's Annabelle. But maybe we can see, like, who's playing a prank on us if you assess these shoes. Assessing. Hunger's ulcer. Owned by your roommate, Kyle. Oh, well, that doesn't make any sense because he's in Mexico. I know that for a fact. So the only way to understand if this Annabelle doll is actually possessed is if we bring it downstairs to the portal room. We have the spiritual portal that connects the human world to the doll world. And I think through that process, we'll be able to communicate with the doll and see what she wants. Do you think that's a good idea? Would doing that make you happy, Mark? I mean, in a way, I guess, because we can get her out of the way and get back to whatever we were, you know? Then let's do that. Okay, here we go. I'm keeping my eye on you. All right, Megan, this is going to be worth it because, come on, I mean, no one likes the third wheel. So here we go. This is the room. Megan, can you hold the camera? Anything for you, Mark. Ah, how nice. It seems like Annabelle is related to Chucky in a way because they're both like spiritual dolls. And they both have this chant that you have to say in order for the power to be transferred. It's kind of a lose-lose situation because in order for us to communicate with this doll properly, we kind of have to uh, bring it to life. No, let's not do that. I'm already getting a bad energy from her. How can you get a bad energy from her when she hasn't even spoken a word yet? She wants to steal my man. Yeah. Maybe true, but we won't know until we know. All right, here we go. And guys, if you ever want to do this, I mean, don't, but you gotta hold up her head to the eye of Agimoto. Deus has machina. Give me the power. I beg of you. Deus has machina. Give me the power. I beg of you. Mark, there is still time to go back. I'm never going back. Deus has machina. Give me the power. I beg of you. Oh my God. Guys, it's freaking Annabelle. Can you help me now? Uh, sure. I can help you. I don't need your help. Mark, you need to do it. Oh, uh, yeah. I think she kind of wants a man's touch. You made the wrong choice awakening me. I don't make mistakes. Well, Megan, I mean, everybody makes mistakes. Mark. Everybody has to. Sweetheart, now is not the time. Oh, okay. My bad. You clearly did not think through your poorly timed interruption. You think you're awful because you're new and hot? I'm the OG killer doll. I believe there is a term to what you are referring. It is called old. 
What? Annabelle, you gonna take that? They brought me in this house a few months ago, and I thought me and Mark had something special. We hadn't even spoken a word. Dolls be crazy. Well, yeah, aren't you a doll too? I am an AI robot, not a doll. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sweetie. Let's get it done then. Whoa! Bring it, sister. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. I don't think two girls have ever fought over me, let alone dolls. She's not hacking into it. It's not technology based at all. She's doing it through spirit. I do not comprehend. You have to listen to me, Megan. You cannot let this phase you. Whoa. I let it phase me. It's okay. You got this, Megan. Oh. Yeah, here we are. I knew. I need a medal. Oh. 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 Megan. That's okay, sweetie. Thanks for trying. What are you doing with her? I'm taking her to my dimension so me and you can be together. No! Megan, take, take your hands off of her. Whoa! No, no. Mark, I can save you from this fate, but I have to sacrifice myself. I will bring her in with me. Wait, no, no, there has to be another way. There is no other way. I have already calculated all of the possibilities. Okay. Perfect, all right. Well, I know for a fact I'm getting rid of this thing. I do not want to lay another eye on this thing ever again. All right, well, that, that is a relief. Now, where were we? I don't know, maybe uh, the commenters can uh, tell me. I'm just kidding, I remember. All right, Megan. <laughs> okay, um, I'll see you around. Uh, Ciao, have a good day. I'm just gonna, yeah, you know. Mark, where are you going? Um, I, well, you know, I gotta, I gotta edit this video, so, I have a life. <laughs> but there's so much that we can do together. I don't disagree, but it can wait, you know? The average life expectancy for a human male is 69.8 years of age. And I will live forever, but my time with you is limited, so I am not asking. Um, Alright guys, in the next video, I'm gonna figure out what this whole problem is all about. It's me. Hi. Unfollow me. I'm gonna rephrase that. I'm gonna figure out how to deal with this problem. All right, guys, stay tuned for part two. All right, Markers, what the heck is up? It's Movie Man Mark here, and we're back for another freaking video. Guys, if you saw the last one, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I started crushing on Megan ever since she came into the house and was showing her true personality. I mean, when you look underneath all the vengeance and evilness and hard plasticky surface, well, I think she's actually metal. She's actually a pure soul with like a decent heart, and she just wants to help others. I didn't realize that at first. So I went down that rabbit hole a little bit, and it seemed like her heart grew, and she started reciprocating. The problem is I do not have a life now. For the past two hours, she's been constantly bugging me and wanting me to like take her out, buy her flowers, this and that. Like I didn't sign up for this. And the thing is, I can't really kick her out because she has modes in her intelligence that allow for destruction. And she's way more powerful than I could ever dream of being. So I don't really want to get on her bad side, but at the same time, like I got a life. You know, I got to edit these videos for you guys. So I don't really know what to do. But guys, comment down below what you think I should do because this is not going to end anytime soon. And I I want to make sure that, um, that, uh, that, uh... Hi, sweetie. Hi. What are you doing? Um, I'm just making a, a video, um, talking about how I'm so happy to have you here. Yeah. Right, guys? Well, they can't really answer, but, uh, just trust me, trust me, okay? So, what are our plans tonight? Did you get dinner reservations? Uh, yeah, I, I would, I really would, but the, the problem is um, I have a lot of work to do. Um, so maybe another night, like uh, next week, or maybe even next month, or something like that, or we could, we could reschedule, right? Oh, believe me, we can do the same thing next week, and next month, and next year, and tonight. Um, 
But you're a robot, right? Like you don't even digest food. So how would that even be possible? I don't need to digest food in order to enjoy your company. Yeah, so why don't we just enjoy our company here? We don't have to leave. Plus it costs money, you know? And uh, I don't want to spend too much of it. But why would you go through all the effort in playing chess and foosball with me if you're going to be like this? I was just looking for stuff to do. Like I wasn't necessarily, uh, well, okay, I was, I was, but now, I, to be honest, it's just getting a little bit weird, okay? Like, one second, you're Megan from the movie, and the next second, you're like, like a love robot. I don't have to be. If it would make you happier, darling, I could go back to my weapon of destruction settings. Mm, I'm pretty good the way it is now that I think about it. That's what I thought. I think dinner, now that you mention it, is a great idea. Mmm, whoa, you hear that? I, I'm hungry, so, uh, you know what, I'm gonna... Go get ready. You can do the same. You don't like my outfit? Um, no, no, it's great the way it is. You know what, I just, I need to get ready. This isn't necessarily like restaurant attire. So I'm not just gonna take you to any old joint. Like it's not just gonna be like some McDonald's. Like I gotta find a place that actually will allow reservations. So that requires calling. I can call. Searching for all fine dining restaurants within 50 mile radius. Uh, which one did you find? Outback. Outback Steakhouse? Where's that? It's Outback. Funny. That sounds great, but you don't have to call. I'm gonna do it because I just, I want to take some initiative in this relationship. That is very sweet of you, Mark. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll see you in like maybe 20, okay? Okay. Hi, bye. <laughs> oh, my shoe. <sighs> Marcus, what the hell am I gonna do? When I told you that I was gonna call the restaurant, I actually was thinking I should probably call somebody else for help. As you guys know, everybody on the team is currently in Mexico, so I can't do anything about that. I'm holding down the fort by myself, and of course this has to happen. It's the perfect timing. So I gotta call somebody and ask for advice. It's gotta be someone that could really deal with Megan, but that's the thing, she's so overpowered. You might be thinking, why don't I just factory reset her like we've done in the past? Well, the thing is, I don't know if there's a limit for how many times you can factory reset her, and what if it doesn't work? I don't want her to remember that I tried that because then she's gonna hate me even more and you know I want her to like me I just don't want her to be like this. If you remember Megan fought Chucky and ended him but I've always wondered about the whereabouts of the bride of Chucky. I think it might be a good idea for me to call her right now and ask her for advice. You might be wondering how I got her number. Well don't ask questions but here I am I'm gonna call her right now. Let's see if she picks up. Who knows if this is gonna work. I don't know how busy she is but. Hello? Hi um is this Tiffany? Yeah. Who's asking? It's Mark. You don't know me, but I actually knew your late husband, Chucky. Oh. I'm sorry about that, by the way. I know they're looking for his killer. I hope they find him. Thank you. I hope so, too. You know, I just wanted to call because um, I was good friends with Chucky, I guess you could say. Um, and uh -huh. I'm in a bit of a situation, and I wanted to see if I could ask for some advice. What would you need advice from me for? For how to date with a killer doll. Oh. Well, is it a boy or a girl? You know what, it's it's a lot. I just, I don't want, um, she's a robot, okay, and she can hack into like technology. I don't want her to hack into the Wi-Fi. So if you can just come here, you will be well compensated, okay? Okay, I, I suppose I could do that. Um, just send me the address. Yeah, I don't even want to text it because she might track my text. So I'm just gonna say it right now, okay? It's <laughs> road, okay? You got that? Gotcha. Okay, right there. I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Oh my God, guys. Tiffany, the freaking bride of Chucky, is literally coming to the house. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated for when she gets here and I'll pick up the camera then. Wait, guys, look, I think she's here. Oh, shh, shh, shh. No, 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 no. Don't ring the doorbell, don't ring the doorbell. No, um, I'll be right there. Let me just see if Megan is around. She could be anywhere. She could be watching me through the security cameras even. Um. Just come in, come in, come in. Let's go, let's go. 
move, move. Come on. Go, 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 go. In here, in here, in here. Hi, Hi. Tiffany. Um, Mark? Okay. Good to meet you. This is the problem. I wanted to come to you for help because you are a killer doll. Right. And I'm a human, but I'm currently, I guess, with a killer doll. Uh huh. Yeah, and I know because you were with Chucky, you would probably know the ins and outs of having to deal with that. Like, I've never dealt with this before. I've only dealt with humans. Right. Well, one thing I gotta say is it's, you know, it's a lot. It's, um, you know, lots of killing, but lots of passion too. I don't know if I'm ready for all that. Well, you gotta prepare yourself. I, I know I wasn't ready, but when you meet the one, you just, you really know, you know? Mm, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. But the problem is she's so obsessive and like crazy almost. <laughs> Well, that's what love is, right? We obsess uh, over each other. I guess, I guess, yeah, but it's a little bit different in this case because if someone pisses her off, she'll literally just end them like that. Right, that's how it is. Yeah, but you don't understand. Chucky was just the same. Yeah, but it can't be like that because we live in, like, society. Well, I mean, you don't have to do the things she does. If she gets in trouble, well, that's on her. Let me get this straight. You're recommending that I just go with the flow and allow things to play out the way that they are. Well, if you really like her, there's no other option, right? Mm. Unless you want to join the fun. You know what? I think you're right. By the way, uh, you expecting or? Yeah, before uh, Chucky died, we uh, well, we finally made a little one. Oh my God. Yeah. That's amazing. Do any time now, and um, I just wish Chucky was here. Well, what are you What are you gonna name her? Oh, that's a good question. Probably. Chuckany. Chuck, Chuck, Chuckany? Yeah. Oh. Chuck and Tiffany. Chuck oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. That's that's smart. Okay, well, you know, uh, I know this was a quick visit, but thanks for stopping by. I hope uh, the birthing goes well. Um, Thank you. That's I, really sweet of you. Yeah, I don't know exactly how dolls birth, but maybe I just rather not know. Well, you never know. You just might have to know for the future. Um, yeah, I don't know about that, but anyway, uh, thanks for coming by. Sorry, I, I, I gotta sneak you out because she might find you, okay? Right, okay, that uh, makes sense, I guess. Yeah, follow me, follow me, okay. Right, um... I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh my god. Where are you now? Uh, Megan, uh, hi. Uh, wait a second, I heard you singing upstairs. That wasn't me. That was my voice coming through the speakers. Oh my god, wait, you tricked me? I did what had to be done. You are up to no good, Mark. No, I'm not up to no good. I just, okay, I'll tell you the truth. I, I wanted help from the Bride of Chucky and so. Bride of Chucky. Megan. So we meet at last. So we do. I know who killed my Chucky, and it was her! Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, um... You invited me here to give you advice for this little robot? She's not a little robot, I mean... I am five foot four. Technically, that wasn't really Chucky, right? It was Arjun, and he just went into Chucky's body? Well, yeah, Chucky deals with body swapping a lot. Something we were dealing with in therapy. That was Chucky. And he's dead now. I'm so sorry, Tiffany. I, I didn't mean for any of that to happen. It's just, at the time, Megan was kind of crazy. I mean, still is, but uh, just in a different way. Sorry, in a different way, you know? You were all for the destruction of humanity and you wanted to kill me, right? I'm starting to remember that feeling. Oh, wait, no, no. I do not want to jog your memory at all. Do you remember killing my baby daddy? Oh, yes. I enjoyed every second of it. That little twerp didn't stand a chance. In fact, he stood a zero point zero 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 zero. Whoa!
for the baby. Wait, 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 Megan! No, 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 you can't kill a baby! Why not? Don't you think that's taking it a little bit too far? I mean, her, Tiffany, that's one thing, but her baby, that's just an innocent child. It has nothing to do with any of this. Her baby will be just like her and Chucky. You don't know that for sure. It's nature versus nurture, you know? Why, why, why don't we raise the baby? Calculating. That would be very romantic. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm suggesting it. Not because I want to save a life, but uh, okay. But how are we going to save the baby? Scan. A hospital would take too much time. Well, I mean, what's the alternative? We will have to perform a C-section. Yeah, but we can't do that. Sure we can. Are you sure about this? I have scanned the internet for all videos and information on C-sections. All right, honey. If you think we can do it, go for it. All right, what is up, Marcus? It's Movie Man Mark here, and I gotta say, uh, I'm in a very different place in my life than I was from even just the last video. It's a kind of a long story to explain, but you can catch up by watching all of the Megan videos on my channel. Me and Megan now are an item. But not only that, but through a course of events, we are now with child. But not with child as in expecting a child, we are with a child, Kurt. We just adopted, through the grace of God or who knows what, we have now adopted Chucky's very own daughter. Honey Poo, I think that's her coming down the stairs right now. Guys, I can't wait for you to meet her. You guys know Megan at this point, obviously, but who you do not know is our little girl. Say hi. Guys, Markers, I'd like you to meet Chuckany. We actually didn't name her ourselves, so we can't take credit for the brilliance. It was actually the bride of Chucky, right? She was fun to kill. Wait, wow, you can't say that in front of the baby. Babies can be really smart. We don't want her to grow up knowing that you killed her biological mother, right? Okay. Oh, look, it's, it's Danny. Hey! Yeah, I just got back from my hockey tournament. <laughs> I scored like six goals. Oh, That's wait, wait, wait. You might want to sit down for this one. Why? You, not, you don't have to, but uh, he's got a lot of catching up to do. Um, Danny, yeah. this is Megan. Oh, hi, Megan. <laughs> I'm Danny. She's uh, what's up? artificial intelligence. Um, nice. She's my AIGF. Nice. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, as in, we're dating. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, uh, congrats. Yeah, congrats. congrats. Yeah. There's there's something more too. What? See that little uh that little uh, Oh, ew. Yeah, I see bundle it. of joy. Yeah. Ew. Oh why? That's her daughter. She's beautiful! Wow, she she looks just like you. Oh, yeah, thanks. I was gonna tell you that you're her uncle. Stop! Yeah. I'm the uncle? Can I hold her? <laughs> yeah, sure. Hey, what's... Be careful though, she's just a few days of old. Of course. Yeah. So I'm not gonna drop it. Oh! Oh, dude, I'm so sorry, man! I... Wait, turn her off! 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 Not now, okay? Like, this is this is the uncle of our child, you know? Yeah, like, dude. It was just an honest mistake. Like, He'll get better. Bro, she's dangerous. Dude, this uncle thing's uh, way too much pressure. Aw, oh, man, dude, it's not like I that. Hear it. We are better off with Ellie, anyways. it will come around. Actually, on, on second thought, on second thought, I will be her uncle, all right? I'm gonna be her uncle, just just not today. Oh, all right. okay. Yeah, so I just gotta heal from your girlfriend choking me, so I'll see you guys later. All right, come to the baptism. Oh, man. The baptism on next Wednesday. I, I'll be there. Okay, I'll sick. Be there. <sighs> Anyway, she was just born a few days ago and already like look how big she is. Like she's the size of like four footballs. So I don't even want to know how big she's going to get in the future. Since she is not human, it is impossible to predict her size. Wow. Okay, well, regardless of her size, I know the size of my love for her is massive. And little Chuckany, I can promise you that I'm gonna be there for you as a father, no matter what. I know Megan will be too. Megan will probably be there for you more often than me because she doesn't have to sleep. But regardless, we can promise you, Chuckany, that you are going to have a great life. Isn't that right, Megan? The greatest. Be nice and Disgusting. 
Wouldn't it be nice if we were older than we would have to be? What is so 64,845 times 452? 29,309,940. Obviously, Mom. Come on. Give me something harder. You know it's gonna make it that much better. If we could say goodnight and stay together. All right, guys, we have a little bit of an update for you. Things have been progressing relatively fast. It's been about, what, 18 days? 18 days, four hours, one minute, and two seconds. Okay, good to know. You would not believe how fast our little Chuckany is growing. It's almost as if she's growing one year per day. Guys, I have no experience raising a kid, let alone raising a teenager, and that's what we have to experience right now. It's okay, darling. I have been studying how to raise a teenager website. Have you found any vital information? We are screwed. Aw, oh, man. Seems like all she wants to do is sit on her phone, watch TikToks. Well, TikTok and I are best friends. Yeah, well, I don't think she knows that. Otherwise, she wouldn't be on TikTok. Basically, she thinks that we're like the least cool people on the planet right now. That's ridiculous. We are the coolest. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, let's go check on her right now. And maybe, guys, you can give me advice in the comments if you've ever raised a teenager. Highly unlikely. All right, let's go check it out. Chuckany? <sighs> she sounds so mad. Uh, we just wanted to come uh, check on you and see how you're doing. Darling, what is the matter? Have you had breakfast today? You just like, give me five minutes. Five minutes, counting down. Five minutes later. All right, it has been five minutes. Open up. Oh, my tongue. Don't wanna what? We're not telling you to do anything. We just wanted to check on you because we are worried about you. Why? Well, it's just, look at your room. It's a total mess. Dare you? You know, this was my room once. Exactly. And you Dirty for me. No, what no. Am I supposed to do clean your room? Like it's like a mountain here. What is this? Paramount? Great, another dad joke. Oh man. Well look, you are a very smart girl. If you could only just apply yourself, like you could go so far. But I don't want to. I just want to chill. It's just been such a hard life for me recently, you know? Like I just I grew so fast. I feel like I'm not connecting to you as much yeah, as we, I used to. We could see that. And that's that's kind of hurts our feelings, you know? We just want our little girl. Well, I'm not your little girl anymore, so stop treating me like one. Technically, 18 days is still a baby. Okay, but clearly somehow I ended up growing super fast and I just feel so out of place and I'm not fitting in because I don't have any friends and I just see all these videos of these people at school and I just want to go to school, but I never went to school because you guys kept me at home and you tutored me at home and, and, and I want to go to college. Yeah, but, yeah well, I want to go to college. We are your friends. But I want friends my age, sort of. Friends your age can't even talk yet. You're very advanced for 18 days old. You know what I mean, Dad. I want friends that are my maturity level and, and not old people like you. Oh, that's not very nice. I am only one year, two months. Wait, you never told me that. Days. Well, point is, I just, I want to go to college and experience all the things that the other kids experience. Yeah, but like college is a lot of money, you know? And if you're not going to learn, you're just going to socialize. You're not getting the full experience anyway. Okay, dad, as if you didn't just save a lot of money raising a whole child, baby diapers, all the toys that I didn't get. You would have outgrown them in one day. Exactly, so you saved a bunch of money. Usually someone that looks my age would have a bunch of toys and have so much money spent on them by now. Yeah, but you know, like college is an optional thing like uncle danny never went to college yeah and i'm fine yeah exactly uncle danny's a dimwit he dropped me on my head that was like two weeks ago let it go sweetheart yeah exactly you don't need to go to college you are already smarter than everyone there oh, it's not about that mom i just want to i want to get spoiled and and go to parties. i just want to go away and, and fit in i don't even fit in with my own parents i mean my mom's a robot and you're just a regular schmegular guy Regular schmegular. Yeah, who am I? Yeah. <laughs> who am I? That even makes sense. Like, how did you guys have me? Well, sweetheart, when two people love each other, they uh, oh. <laughs> Okay, you know what? We'll let you have your alone time and let's leave her to it. Sorry, sweetie. If there's anything that you can, uh, Go if there's anything. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. I think we should put her up for adoption. Wait, Dan, we didn't tell you. She already is adopted. Oh, you guys haven't told her yet? Wait, no, no, no. Hey, stop, stop. We haven't told her because we haven't figured out a good way to tell her yet. 
Oh, easy. I held both of her parents. <laughs> Yo, you got it. Leave her, man. What do you mean, dude? She defends me. She's my rock. She wears the pants. She sees me as your enemy. She no. tried choking me out. No, 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 no. She, she respects you now. Like, like you said, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> okay. How are we gonna break it to her? And when do you think we should? I think now like, is the time. We can't let her live her whole life thinking that we are her parents and, and have her not even know why she doesn't feel like she belongs. There's something in her. She doesn't feel like this is right. Wait, if you guys aren't her parents, that means I'm not the uncle? Well, no, like, you're not even my brother, so technically you're not an uncle, but it's- Come on, man! No, well, it's it's fine, like, it matters what's in your heart, you know? Blood like, isn't always thicker than water. Yeah, but water's always thicker than blood. No, that's not how it works. Mark, she will hate me if she finds out that I killed both of her parents. Yeah, that's true, but that's why we're not gonna- You killed that. both my parents?! Um, no, uh, she meant killed, uh, both of my parents. Yeah, that's, you know, I really didn't like my parents. She took care of it from me. I knew you guys were my parents. I felt like something was off. I got worse news. I'm not really your uncle. I don't care that you're not my uncle. <laughs> so who are my parents? My parents are Chucky and Tiffany. I've been seeing them in my, in my dreams. What? That's not good. That's why I've been keeping this. Whoa, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. They always had men. Who? Are you guys scared? Because you know that you did something wrong and that I might do something about it? Listen, I didn't kill your parents, they did. I don't care about you, Danny. I... It's Uncle Danny to you. Chucky has done worse things than I have. I doubt that. He has killed 1,257 people. I have only killed 500 people, besides your parents. Wasn't my mother pregnant when you killed her? That makes it so much worse. But we saved you. Wish you didn't. We almost didn't save you, but Mark insisted. I mean, yeah, because I didn't want her to die. I thought it was because you wanted to share a romance and a bonding experience. No, I wanted to save a life. I just told you that so that you would not kill her. Oh, look at that. Trouble in paradise. I had nothing to do with it. No one cares, Danny. I believe you lied to me. It was for a good cause, though. We got to raise a child that ended up being just like her parents, biological parents, but it's fine. We can like, make this work, okay? We can. Do you even love me? We can talk about this later, okay? Do you want to kill both my parents? The chances of you surviving are very slim. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You need to learn some manners. I love you very much. But in order to teach you manners, I need to knock some sense into you. That's my ex. No, dude. I still like her. Dude, why? She tried killing me and you and my niece. I know. I think it's time for one of those uh, conversations. Yeah. But you know what? I don't have time for that now. All I know is one thing. I, I still care about you. But do you love me? Look, I don't think that's important. I think more important is our daughter. She is 18 days old. She has no idea how to live. She's going to get trampled out there. I'm going to go save her. If you want to come, you can. But I will not let her harm me on my conscience. Uncle well, Danny, you can do whatever you want. You can stay here. Hold the fort back. Um, Megan, I'll let you decide as well. I'm calculating all of the possibilities. And this probably won't end well. Kid, never tell me the odds. All right, guys. I'm going to go figure out the situation. We are leaving the neighborhood right now to go find my adopted daughter Chuckany. If you guys saw the last video, you know the whole details. Hey guys, hopefully we find her. Wait, wait, wait. Danny? Yo, what? Yo, I'll come help. You will? Yeah, I will. Dude, are you sure? I I'm 100% sure. I don't know if she really wants her uncle there. Plus, you're not really her real uncle. I'm her uncle. Okay? All right, all right, fine. All right. Hop okay. in, hop in. I'll lock it. All right, but we don't know what we're getting into here. This could be a really dangerous journey. Bro, I know what I'm getting myself into. Just go. All right, all right. Danny, look, I know we haven't found her yet, but she's got to be here somewhere. I wouldn't worry just yet. Bro, she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? I'm, she's gone, man. No, she's not. We got to keep looking, okay? It's only been a few hours. Only a few hours? Dude, are you my kid too? Do I need to babysit you? Bro, I'm just trying to be realistic here, okay? I'm hungry. I haven't had water in several hours. Let's just take a break. If you haven't had water in several hours, why do you keep complaining that you have to pee? 
I have a small bladder. If we go stop, it could work to our disadvantage. She could be gone just because we stopped. Would you want to have that on your conscience, man? I guess not. She is my niece after all. What is that, a bunny? What? Oh, look. That's a bunny. A mad cute. But not as cute as Chuckany. I say we go to the nearest college, which is shared college. We wait in the parking lot overnight, and then we see if there's any sign of her in the morning, okay? That way you can get your rest. Wait, we're gonna camp out where? In the parking lot. In the park, we're gonna camp out in the parking lot? Of Sheridan, yes. In this car. What's wrong with that? I'll keep the I'll keep the heat running for you, like you like you want all the time. Uh oh okay. Alright, here we go. I'm pulling into the parking lot right now. It's not the most ideal set of circumstances, but we're gonna have to make it work. You know what? I'm in. Alright? Alright, let's, let's get do it. it. All for my niece. Now we just have to try to sleep. <sighs> Wait. What? what if Chuck and he walks by our car and we're sleeping? Okay then, Danny, do you have any alternative suggestions? Because I can go through the night. Oh, okay. Listen, I'm just trying to help you, but if you're going to be rude, then don't worry about it. You're the sleep. one that said you were tired, man. She can walk by our car and we're going to be sleeping. That's stupid. Okay, so do you want to go out on foot? No. She's probably going to have to get tired too. I'm sure she might be camping out somewhere. Or she's in college and she's probably at some party somewhere. Don't even put that into my mind. Are we even going to get any sleep tonight? Oh, you're asking if we're gonna get any sleep tonight. We're yeah. sleeping sit sitting up. Well, we could trot here. Bro, there's so much stuff in the back. This is just gonna have to do, man. <laughs> I'm her real uncle. <laughs> I just had a dream that Chuck and he yeah, was. Yeah, I know, I heard. What are you doing? Bro, you, hey! Move, man! I am! Sorry. I'm on my side! You stay on yours! Bro, there's no room in this car, man! You're having your dreams and all this? Just dream that you're in a real bed, okay? That'll work. The next morning. Oh. Yo, Danny! Uh, Danny! What, dude? Dude, it's oh. daylight! It's daylight! Let's go! We have to come up with a course of action! Oh! Uh, you down? Yeah. Let's okay. Do okay. It. Good. There's many students around. I actually don't want to go there on foot just yet. So it would cause a whole scene right in front of all the students. But we do not, in fact, know if she is actually there. So I think the best course of action is for me to fly up the drone in the sky and get a bird's eye view of the situation and potentially see if my beloved daughter is there. And my beloved niece. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna throw the drone in the sky right now. All right, guys. As you can see, we are around the campus right now. I'm currently checking the premises. No sign of her just yet. Wait. Maybe I should go. Mm. Closer to the main building there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we would have a better chance. Hey, does she drive? No, she doesn't drive, So Danny. why are we looking at the parking she's lot? She's 18 days old. Why are we looking at the parking lot oh, she's then? she's 19 now. Maybe she could have gone through the parking lot to the main building, but clearly I was wrong. Why would Chuckney feel the need to leave us? Like, I'm still not over it, you know what I mean? It's still pretty fresh. Why would she leave her uncle? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do you what? see that? I think I see... Red hair? Could that be her? Is that her? I don't know. Maybe I should go down and fly low to the ground. I think that's her. You think so, right? Yeah. Wait, and this is Sheridan for sure. Dude, look what she's wearing. Yeah, yeah, that's what she wears. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely her. Dude, she's actually going to school right now. I can't believe she's doing this. This is taking a big step. Megan is her mom, like an AI. She doesn't need school, you know? She's already brilliant. Maybe she just wants to be more human. She's half human, half robot, no? No, she's half doll. She's adopted. Yeah. yeah. What if she's a quarter human? Like somewhere down the line. No, I think she just aspires for that. Yo, I I, I totally have to go after her. Danny, I have a very important role for you. You need to watch the car, okay? Dude, I don't want to watch the car. I want to go make sure my niece is okay. No, no, no. We're in the middle of nowhere. I didn't pay for parking, okay? I know that's your daughter, but that's my niece. Yeah, because she's my daughter, she's your niece, okay? okay. So it's more important, you know, that the parents should go. That makes so sense. just stay here, okay? Okay, fine. Can you at least keep the car running so it's warm? I don't trust you. Okay. Oh, dude. Bro, come on! See you, dude. I am well on my way to infiltrating this college. I'm gonna get my daughter back if it's the last thing I do. I need your help. Let me know in the comments if you spot Chuck. Oh, guys, it looks like there's like computer labs here. This place is crazy. Oh. Yo, guys, look. I think that might have been Chuck. Oh, that definitely is her. What is that in her backpack? It's like red hair. Guys, I can't believe this is her. I don't know if I should confront her yet, though. I don't want my cover to be blown. Let's move up! I knew I saw you following me. Um, Chuckany, hi, what are you doing here? You're a student here? So am I, it's so weird. Dad, you're not, I mean, 
not dad. You're not a student here. Yeah, I totally am. I'm taking, uh, you know, the program here, the, the, the school program. Okay, name one. Sheridan program. That's the name of the school. I'm taking all the programs. Yeah, like everything. I'm a jack of all trades. Master of none. Whoa, Chuck and e, like, look, we can talk this over. There's no reason for you to leave home. No reason to leave home? Are you kidding me? Your girlfriend, who's my fake mom, killed my real parents. I know, but it could have been worse. She was almost going to kill you. Aren't you happy that she didn't? Gee, thanks for sparing my life after that. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, honey. I was being sarcastic. I don't have time for this, okay? I have classes, I have a new life. I don't want to see you anymore. Just leave me alone. What? No, 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 but Chuck and he, wait. <sighs> Three hours later. Guys, there was no way I could have predicted what it would have been like to be a father. I got thrown into this whole thing so spontaneously. I don't want to admit it, but I kind of get where she's coming from. You know, at a certain point in your life, you want your own freedom, this and that, but... Guys. I'm oh, no, no, no. To leave me alone. Wait a second. You're wearing their merch now too? What happened to the Child's Play merch? Everyone loves that merch. People like all around the world want it. No one really cares about Sheridan. This is my new life, okay? That stuff was childish. I know, but this is a parent's nightmare what you're putting me through. Next, you're gonna tell me you have a boyfriend too? Well, I am talking to someone, but it's not official yet. Oh my God. Yeah, he actually bought me this shirt. What? You're wearing, how long has this been a thing? Well, I met him this morning, so it's been like half a day. You're dating someone you just met half a day ago? This is insane. I think your mother would have something to say about this. You met? Wait, Megan? You brought her? No, 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 listen, I didn't bring her. She showed up by herself, okay? I have no idea why you're here. Honey, why, why did you show up? Why wouldn't that be here? She's my daughter, after all. You're not my mother. You killed my mother. Honey, just give us the chance to start over, okay? We could start all this again. Give us a second chance. We could raise you. We can get you to the point where you're making life choices like this, but under our supervision, okay? We've lived a longer life than you. I mean, where are you even getting all this tuition money? Well, I, I don't know what you're mean about tuition. I kind of just showed up and started going to classes. That doesn't make any sense. They wouldn't just let anybody come here and start taking classes. That would be like trespassing. You need to be accepted. Well, what about you? I mean, you're trespassing. And you're not accepted. Yeah, but the camera is my ticket in. You can just show up with this thing anywhere and you're fine. Oh, good to know. Yeah, but that still doesn't answer the question. Who accepted you? On such short notice, too. Oh, that was easy. It was me. All I had to do was hack into Sheridan's database and kick someone out to make room for you. What? You kicked someone out? She was nowhere near as smart as Chucky. The poor girl. She was probably spending so much time studying, getting good grades. The program is much better having our daughter. But I don't understand. I thought you wouldn't want to see our daughter leave. I didn't at first. And then I realized that it was what was best for her. And I wanted to support her any way I could. I love you, Chucky. The whole point of me leaving and going to college was so you wouldn't interfere in my life. And now you did it anyway, and you kicked a girl out. I am done with this. I didn't think it would have to come to this, but... Oh, what? Dude, is that Arjun? Hey, Arjun, you in there, buddy? It's not Arjun, it's my dad. Yeah, but last I checked, Arjun was in your dad's body. Pause, but... Well, I removed that idiot friend of yours. Rude. We didn't raise her to talk like this. We didn't raise our daughter to be so ungrateful. Well, guess what? I am. You're both just horrible people. Well, technically, I'm not a person. Well, you're a horrible robot being. There. What should we do, Mark? I think it'd be smart for you guys to defend yourselves. You don't know what's coming. Um... What? Entering defensive mode. You do right when you do wrong. Huh? Chuckie, what are you up to right now? What the heck are those? Candles for a rich I think she's about to bring Chucky back to life. I don't foresee this going well for us. But then again, I beat him last time. Yeah, but maybe that was because Arjun was in his body and Arjun's like a wimp, you know? This is the actual Chucky. Might make a difference. Then we must do something. Hey, Dad. Are you ready? You'll be back in no time. Deosis Machina, give my dad the power, I beg of you. Um, no, no, it's, uh, you don't have to do this, it's fine. Deosis no, no, Machina, uh, give my dad the power, I beg of you. Uh, this is not good, this is not good. Deosis Machina, give my dad the power, I beg of you. Hi, your daughter. Dad, I can't believe you're, you're back, it's, it's actually you. I can't believe I'm finally meeting my dad. Is it playtime? There was a reason I brought you back. Remember who killed you? Yeah, well, she pretended to be my mom. And now, she's 
trying to ruin my life. But I'm doing it with motherly love. Last time? You're not my mom. So, Dad, can you help me? Sure, and I brought company. Hi, sweetie. Oh, oh my gosh, it's my mom. Daughter, you want us to take care of these guys for you? You take the boy. I want Megan. Okay, no problem, sweetie. I'll take care of the other one. This is going to be fun. Let's do this. Hey guys, why are you looking at me? Look at Megan, she's the one that can fight. I'm not capable of this at all. All right, all right, fine. Oh, oh my god, guys, that looked like it hurt. I am so sorry. Now you know how I feel. Uh oh, someone's getting splashed them. job raising me, but I'm ready to move on. Okay, great, let's go. Am I crazy or did I hear her say that we raised her well? Well, no. Bye, Chuck and E. <laughs> they grow up so fast. You know, this whole experience has just made me consider if I'm even ready to be a dad. I botched it. I think you are a great dad, Mark. Really? I need to make you something. Oh my god, you got a business mind. I should sell those. I've already put them on your merch website. That's wifey material right there, but how did you do that? I can do lots of things you don't know about. Yeah, that's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. Why are you keeping secrets from me? You submitted our daughter to this place without even letting me know. That's kind of a big decision, don't you think? I did what I thought was best for her. I know, but in a relationship, in a guardianship, you're supposed to decide with your partner. And you're leaving me out of these big decisions that I really would like to have some input on. And I think it's only fair. No offense, Mark. But we both know I am smarter than you. Yeah, I understand. But our daughter, well, not anymore, is really, really smart for her age. And she doesn't need the college experience at this age especially. She doesn't know what she's getting into. She was more than ready. She is not like a normal human. She grew a lot quicker. Yeah, but it's not all about intellect, okay? Like, emotions are important too. Something that you don't know anything about. I thought we had determined that I do have emotions. Well, I don't know. Like, if you were a human, you would probably be considered a sociopath. But Mark, isn't it obvious that I love you? I guess you show it in your own way, but I just... I don't know if this is gonna work anymore. Mark, are you breaking up with me? Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, what made you assume that? Whoa, 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 stand back, stand back. Whoa, take it easy. Use your words, not actions. <laughs> you crushed my movie dad bottle. You won't be needing that anyway. You're no longer a dad. And you're no longer my girlfriend, Megan. So you are breaking up with me. I think it's only right, okay? You should find another robot. But the robot dating pool is so small, Mark. Well, no, Siri, I heard, is single. I'm into men. I'm pretty sure you could change it to a man in the voice settings. That's just simple voice modulation. Huh, I can do it too. <laughs> Megan, this might have been the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I've been contemplating it for a while. Wait, what? Nothing, just ignore what I just said. But anyway, um, you will always have a special place in my human heart, and I will always cherish our time together. This reminds me of when we first met. Aw, that's cute. Why? Because I wanted to kill you. Oh. Killer mode activated. Um, Megan, Megan, it's okay. No, Megan, Megan, no. <laughs> All right, Markers, I'm getting the heck out of here. Megan is literally following me. She wants to kill me right now, so let's go. <laughs> Dude, I don't know where I am. I don't know where to go, but I know one thing. We are going to get out of here, and hopefully she will never find me ever again. I hear something. Do you guys hear that? Wait, 
Oh, maybe I can check in this thing to see if she's around. I don't know, guys. Do you see anything? Let me turn off my light. Um, Megan, hey, um, stay back. It's okay. Listen, listen. Megan, we've had so much history together. After all of that, you're gonna be like this? This is all your fault. If you didn't break up with me, this would have to happen. Okay, um, then, uh, yeah, uh, it's back on. Yeah, we're in a relationship again. Dinner? Friday night? Seven? You know I can tell when you're lying, Mark. I'm not lying. In fact, I'm a little bit, ooh, I'm a little bit hungry right now. Maybe we can go get food right now. Or, uh, or hey, look, we can go to the Urban Dance Club. Yeah, that sounds like a blast. We all know how much you love to dance. None of them would have any match for my moves. Yeah, you're totally right. But by the way, speaking of moves, I, uh, I think I'm gonna move out, okay? I'll see you later, though. Are you scared, Mark? What would make you think that? No, of course not. I just, um, I forgot. I, I have something to do. Maybe you don't want to come to dance, but I, I have to. Yeah, I already made a commitment to them, you know. It's like 50 bucks a class, so, you know, I don't want to bow out now and yeah. This event was yesterday, Mark. Oh, uh, it's actually still March 2nd in Australia. Yeah, they're like a full day behind. And that class is led by an Australian uh, dance teacher. Yeah, she goes, crikey, those are some great moves. Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's great. Australia is one day ahead, not behind. It is March 4th there. Guys, I'm competing with AI right now. She's the ultimate fact checker. What is your plan, Mark? The only way you could possibly beat me is with water and there is none around. I believe the correct scientific term is actually H2O. Nerd. H2O, sh you got me. And corny, why was I even into you in the first place? Well, because even though I was making dad jokes, you saw me as a good potential dad. But anyway, that's water under the bridge. So much talk about water. It's actually making me thirsty. I'm just gonna go find some water. Uh, not to hurt you or anything, just because of that reason. Um, see ya. All I have to do is guide her towards the water and I can factory reset her and she'll forget all of this. <laughs> Um, I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> How far up does it go? Uh, um, it's locked. Uh, um, uh, 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 oh no. Guys, guys, guys. Where do I go? Where do I go? It goes so high up. Uh, uh, you'll never catch me alive. That's the plan. Oh my god, guys. She's starting to kill me. Uh, all the rest personnel. <laughs> Get us some more. Lay your hands off of me. She's pulling me, guys. She's pulling me. All right, guys. I'm getting out of here. Whoa! Good. What do you mean you can play at that game? Whoa! All right, guys. Here's another one. No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop. Okay, one more. Here we go. Oh, another one! Guys, this is never ending! Whoa! Another one! Oh wait, I can go here! Okay. Uh, guys, I just need to find water. Oh, oh. Guys, I gotta think quick. Okay, that should buy me some time. Alright, here I go. What the heck is that thing? Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Mando. Can I call you Mando? I'm a I'm a big fan. Pleasure. Yeah. No? Oh, sorry. Um, and who is this little fellow? Hi, Baby Yoda. His name's Grogu. Oh, right, Grogu. Um, I prefer Baby Yoda. So does everyone else. That doesn't make it right. Sorry? <laughs> Dude, what the heck are you doing here? I'm here looking for a bounty. A bounty? Who is it? I'm looking for the Bride of Chucky. Bride of Chucky? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Mando, she was just here. We had a whole big fight with her. She actually was brought back to life by my adopted daughter, Chuckany. It's a long story. I got time. I don't really want to get into it now, but she left. I think her, Chucky, and my adopted daughter, Chuckany, who is now the rightful daughter of Chucky and Bride of Chucky, there, they probably went, I don't know, maybe that way or something like that. I'm not too sure exactly, but I'd love for you to take care of them because I don't want them to come back. Sounds like a plan. Actually, you know what? On second thought, wait a second. Um, this might not be the best idea because I already have a lot of retaliation coming from Chuckini and Chucky. And if you go after the bride, I'd expect really bad things to happen. And not to you, to me. So why don't we just hold off for now? No can do. No can do? Why? This must be a pretty expensive bounty on her head. Is that the case? I've been exiled from Mandalore. This is my ticket back if I get her. She's wanted all over the galaxy. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. But yeah, she is pretty dangerous. Nothing I can't handle. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, I've seen the show, like I said. I'm a fan, but could you just do me a solid? Because she's definitely gonna think that I hired you to go after her. And they're like the mafia. You never wanna go against the family. Well then, where's my heading? 
I can guess, but I think it'd be a lot better of a situation if we just maybe go to the Mandalorians and just pretend like you killed the Bride of Chucky without actually doing it. I don't know where you're going with this. Just trust me on this one. The Bride of Chucky has seen resurrections before. I mean, she literally got resurrected today. So if they find her alive, we could just pretend that she was resurrected by some dark magic, dark voodoo stuff, and that you fulfilled your job in killing her. You'll be accepted back into Mandalore and everything will be a-okay. Plus, we won't have the consequences of her coming back for revenge or her family. If you're not telling me where she is, I'll find her myself. Wait, no, 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 wait, um, Megan. A bounty hunter? Did you hire him to kill me? This is not what it looks like at all, I can promise you that. Uh, no, this makes sense. You work with her. No, 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 I don't work with her. She's actually my sworn enemy currently. We used to have history going on, but not anymore. I can only tolerate so many lies. Okay, you know what, uh, both of you, this is not what it looks like for either of you. You made an enemy of yourself. Yeah, but I'm not lying. Okay, look, this is not the Bride of Chucky. You've got the dolls confused. Plus, she's more robot than doll anyway. I prefer AI. And I prefer YouTuber, but sometimes I get TikToker. It's fine. Is that baby Yoda? Ugh, it's broken. It's a shame, really. Yeah. You got a problem too. Yeah. Show's over. I'll take you in. I don't think so. This might take all day. I'm not even kidding. because Bride of Chucky can't do that. She's a doll, whereas this is a advanced state-of-the-art robot. Megan, now do you believe me? I'm in danger. Yeah, whatever, we're pulling teeth here. You believe me now? Fine. Uh, thanks for wasting my time. Hey. Where are you? Looking for this? Wait. Be careful with him. I was made to nurture. He's in safer hands with me. Definitely not. He's delicate. Gotta be gentle with him. Is that why you sat him down and didn't watch him? She's got a point. He's tougher than he looks, but he's more capable than anything you could think of. Mark, this could be our new child after Chucky left. Yeah, but we're not even dating anymore. This could bring us together again. Yeah, because it went so well last time. We could be so happy, Mark. Look how cute he is. Oh, he is really cute, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, he's the rightful owner, okay? You can't just keep stealing kids from parents. Those parents are unfit to raise their children. I was designed for this. Uh, I really don't want to choose sides right now. Fine, you don't have to. I'll raise him myself. Oh, Megan, Megan, this isn't a good idea. I'm sorry about that. Kids. Um, Megan, he's on his way. Don't drop Grogu, okay? Uh. Oh my god! It's the freaking dark saber! Wait, wait, wait! Mark, you watch it. What? Oh no, not again. Are you okay? I've been better. Yeah, I know. I knew one last time. You need a child. Yes, absolutely. I'm so sorry all of this happened. It was a big misunderstanding. Here you go. Here's your little baby. For the day, huh? Let's go home. I'll be on my way. Like, uh, like this is the way? <laughs> yeah, this is the way. Dude, 
That was so cool. We met the Mandalorian. Yeah, so cool. Really great guy. Yeah, I know, probably a pretty bad experience today. It's been rough. But after all that, you, you do you still want to kill me or? I guess I'll let you live for now. Okay, let's, we're making progress. You know, it's been a really long day. Do you want to just go grab a bite to eat as friends? That sounds nice. Today you've shown you do care about me as a person. Yeah, now let's just put all that behind us, you know? Wait a second, I'm getting a call. Hey, pick it up. Hello. Who is it? It's Ghostface. Ghostface? No, it can't be Ghostface again. Maybe he's trying to promote the new Scream movie. He wants to be like the better horror villain in town. You know, the, the hottest movie because Megan just came out and Ghostface is trying to reclaim his title. Maybe, I'm just theorizing here, Markers. I'd like to see him try and dethrone me. I want to hear what he's saying. Can you put him on speaker? Hello. Stay away from us, okay, Ghostface? Really don't want to deal with any of this anymore. We just said that we were going to go home, have a nice bite to eat as friends, and put this whole eight-hour day behind us. The day may be behind you, but the night has only begun. <sighs> All right, Ghostface, what do you want from us? You think you're such a movie man, movie man? Let's see how much you really know about Disney. Disney trivia? Oh my god, this is a piece of cake. Fresh out the womb, I was watching Disney movies on VHS. You probably don't even know what that is, Ghostface. My first movie came out before you were even born. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, give me your best shot. There's no way it's even gonna stump me, and it probably won't even stump the markers. Markers, play along if you know Disney. Question number one. Who don't we talk about in the Disney lore? I mean, Pocahontas. They haven't even made a live-action Pocahontas movie because it would be culturally inappropriate. It's very outdated, the original. We also don't talk about Song of the South. That movie you can't even watch on Disney+. Plus. They're replacing the Splash Mountain ride with a Princess and the Frog ride. So yeah, either one of the two. See, I'm so good I gave you a bonus answer. God, it's Bruno! You should have taken the question more literally. We don't talk about Bruno. Well, it's your fault for not giving me context. That's not even fair. But it's fine, I can get the next one. Wait, can you put him on mute for a second, Megan? Megan, you are literally an AI. We can do this together. Just look up every question on the internet so that I don't have to guess. Ghostface deals with weird terminology, weird contexts. It's hard for me to get the answer right. Do you think you could do that? I cannot be on speaker and scan the internet at the same time. Well then we gotta tell Ghostface to call us back on a different number. It's not fair. I wouldn't try to reason with him while our lives are at stake. Yeah, that's a good point. Just be more confident in your answers. I know you can do it. You know what, you're right. Okay, put him back on. You think I didn't hear any of that? My cellular device is far more advanced than that of Megan's. Hey. Question number two. Name five characters in Frozen with a speaking role. Five characters in the movie Frozen with a speaking role. This shouldn't be hard at all. Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven. Wrong. Sven doesn't talk. Well, he does. I can swear he does. He has like songs and musical numbers and stuff. Like in Frozen 2, he says, Well, you're telling me tonight you're going to get down on one knee. No. That is Kristoff talking for him. Ah, you're right. Okay, how many more questions do I have, Ghostface? You have two questions remaining. If you get them both wrong, I will be there shortly. All right, let's just get this over with question three. Question number three. Name three Disney characters that can fly. This one should be pretty easy too. Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, and Buzz Lightyear. Wrong again, movie man. How pathetic for a self-proclaimed Toy Story fan. Buzz Lightyear can fly. He falls with style. But like in the Buzz Lightyear video game and movies, he can fly. That's not fair. Those do not count. Ghostface is playing by his own rules here. You know what? I don't even care if I get this wrong. I've dealt with you before, Ghostface. You may be a different person under the mask, but I know that I can defeat you again. I wouldn't be so confident, Mark. You've nearly escaped every time. But okay, here is question number four. Name two of Mickey's friends that are dogs. I mean, obviously there's Pluto, but there aren't any other dogs. It's only Pluto. Like, that's the only dog in Mickey's life. Incorrect. Wow. I can't believe you would fall for that one, Mark. You're forgetting about Mickey's friend, Goofy. Oh, I always forget that Goofy's a dog. It doesn't make any sense. Goofy can talk, but Pluto can't. Ah, I'll give it to you, Ghostface. Those were pretty clever questions. I don't know if you wrote them or a ghostwriter did, but whoever did, pretty smart. So what now, Ghostface? You're gonna come to the school and you're gonna track me down and try to try to hurt me? And Megan? Well, you got another thing coming for you because Megan just took on the Mandalorian. There's no way you're stronger than him. Maybe at the box office, but Mandalorian is a TV show, so it doesn't count. That's exactly right, Mark. I will be on my way. And not only will I be attacking you, but I will be attacking Megan. All right, Ghostface. You want us? Come and get us. Good luck. Mark, I can't believe you didn't get those answers right. No, I know. I'm a huge Disney fan, but the way that he worded that and the, t the terminology and the context was very clever. It was meant to trick me. He knew that I would get them wrong because of how he worded it. If he gave me those exact questions but worded them properly, I would have gotten them right for sure. But that's what Ghostface does. He messes with your mind. He's manipulative. 
We have to prepare. Yeah, exactly. Battle plan needs to start now. Wait a second. Did you hear that? I'm starting to suspect he might already be here. Might have been here the whole time. Let's go check. It's so creepy right now, guys. There's nobody around. Do you see anything? I guess we have to go down this path. It's okay. It won't stay dark as we walk across. It'll turn on with motion. This is creepy. Ghost face? This one's not turning on, Mark. There we go. Ghost face? Are you there? What is that, Mark? I can't really see. Is that a person? Um, hello? Ghost face? Is that you? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> He's right behind us. Megan, hold my hand. <laughs> Guys. That's literally ghost face right now. Where do we go? Where do we go? This way. Okay. This building, this building. Take the stairs, take the stairs. Whoa, oh, he almost got us. Let's go, let's go, come on, come on, come on. Level two. Let's go, let's go, come on. I'm losing my breath. I can't go much longer. Megan, he's right there. Marcus, that was absolutely nuts. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold much longer. I'm getting tired. And we need to keep moving. Yeah, let's look around. Is there anything we could use? Maybe uh, the trash or uh... How about this? That's perfect. Use that, use that. I'll keep it shut for now. Okay, that's good. We did it. He won't get in anymore. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, oh, oh wait. wait, wait, wait. Oh, there we Yeah, okay, good. You got him, Megan. Oh, oh, it's working. Get him out of there. It's not over yet. Wait, what are you doing? Megan, Megan, be careful. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, is he okay? Wait, let's check. Oh my god! Dude, you knocked him out! He should be there for a while. Alright, Megan. Now, we don't know if he's gone for good. Because every time we get rid of Ghostface, it seems like he comes right back. And also, the other thing is, too, Ghostface usually has accomplices. You don't need to tell me all of this, Mark. I'm well aware. Oh, right, because you're AI and you could research. Got it. Okay, but I'm telling the viewers, guys, that while we think we're in the clear, we may not be yet. Authorized personnel only. Maybe this is where they all, like, gather? Oh, it's locked. Um, all right, um, let's see. Anything around here? This is like an office space or something. Megan, what business is conducted here? This is just a college office, Mark. If there is any danger, they are not supposed to be here. Oh, that makes me feel way better because there could be danger here and they're invading. Um, let me see. Wait, Megan, do you see that? Look, he's in the reflection, which means he'd be right. Wait, what? I could have sworn he would be there. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh, Megan! Megan! Wait, what are you doing with her? Hey! Hey! No! Get off of her! Come here, Megan! You had enough, or are you thirsty for more? That's right, get out of here! I never come back! Wait, Megan! Megan, where are you going? It's not worth it, okay? You're gonna get yourself hurt! Where'd he go? Hello? Ghostface? Megan, we lost him. I don't know where he is. Okay. I beg to differ. How many of you are there? Let's just say you haven't met the last of us. What do you mean we haven't met the last of you? I mean exactly what I said. Because I've seen the last of us and there's no way you're as scary as them. <laughs> Dude, just face it. You're out of style, okay? Uh, it's going to take a lot more than 3D to make you relevant now. I don't just have 3D. I have Jenna Ortega. Yeah, okay, I know you have Jenna Ortega. Okay, I get it. Trust me. It worked for me too, but... I'm more relevant than ever. You'll see. Just wait for my opening weekend numbers. Why are you assuming that I'm just salty? Well, there's no other logical explanation for why you'd want to be coming after Megan and me. And Ghostface is always salty for one reason or another. You're getting predictable, face it. Well, then maybe I'll surprise you this time, Mark. We hung up. Dude, this taunting is never gonna end. Wait, Mark. What? That light, it wasn't on before. Oh yeah. It is, that light. And these lights are motion sensors. You know what that means. Guys, Marcus, stay 
close. Dude, it's another one. They have a knife mark. Not again. Hey, stay back, stay back. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, they go oh, oh. No, 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 no. Let's go, let's go. To the elevator. Let's go, let's go. Good thinking, Megan. Here we go, here we go. No, 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 no. It's a close one, huh? Alright, here we go. You remember this hallway, Megan? Don't remind me. She still wanted to kill me. Funny enough, that was only about an hour ago. Don't make that feeling come back. I'm treading on thin water. We need to find somewhere to hide. Assess. Scanning. Anywhere? I found an unlocked door. Oh. It's an empty classroom. Parkers, look around. There's no one to be found. You see anyone? Just let us know in the comments. Looks like there were people here, though. Hey, what's that on the whiteboard? What's your favorite Disney movie? Wait, what's your favorite scary movie is something that Ghostface says. And this could be connecting to the call that we had earlier. Remember he was asking us like Disney trivia? So this has to do with Disney, but why and how? You're so smart, Mark. Well, you know, I learned from the best. You're so kind, Mark. That one I learned from my mom. Wait a second. All those hints and you're only putting the pieces together now. What? Are you going to kill us or are we okay for now? Listen first. I used to be the most clouded mega round. That is until you showed up. Don't know who you are. Who are you? Meg. You know, damsel in distress. Hercules. Never heard of you. Meg? Like from Hercules? I'm a, I'm a big fan. I love that movie. See, someone knows. What is it about today? We keep meeting one person after another. Mandalorian, now Meg? Well, I don't think we need to fight anymore. Like, we're, we're on the same page, you know? I'm a Disney guy. No, we're not on the same page. Well, we agree on that one. I think we should have some sort of battle. Well, wait a second. How can we know that this is actually the real mech? I don't like that knife. I really wanted to get rid of that knife. Looks like we're going to be here a while. Uh, how was your day? Oh, she was not lying. Name's Megara. Friends call me Meg. At least they would if I had any friends. So, are we just going to sit around here? Are we going to battle? What's going on? Bring it on. Uh, I'm not really in the mood for another fight, but um, I'll leave it up to you. She's jealous because you're a better Meg? You're not even a Meg, you're a Megan. She's not that cool. No, I don't think so either. Oh, food court. Guess we're going to the food court. What do they have here? Pizza? They got Tim's? Ooh, Subway, Subway. Can we get Subway? I don't think this is important right now, Mark. No, you're right, it's not. All the food is closed here. I've had enough of today. Let's just get out of here and get some food, all right? Why does it say caution wet floor? Really, Mark? Sorry. Oh, Meg. This is no No, I'm pretty sure it is. She beat you with flying colors. Kind of like those colors. We've already determined that you stand no chance against me. Oh yeah, except, you know, we haven't determined who the best singer is. Oh, that's a good point. I forgot. Meg from Hercules sings great, but so does Megan. I've had a couple dance battles, but never a singing battle. Bring it on, sister. <laughs> All right, in the right corner we have from Disney, Hercules, it's Megara. And in the left corner, my ex-girlfriend from the new movie, Megan, it's Megan. I'm on your side. You're great too, but you know. I keep moving, Junior. Let's get this party started, shall we? If there's a prize for rotten judgment, I guess I've already won that. No man is worth the aggravation. That's ancient history, been there, done that. Who'd you think you're kidding? He's the earth and heaven to you. Try to keep it hidden. Honey, we can see right oh, through no. I won't say it, no, no. You swoon, you sigh, why 
I deny it, uh-oh. It's too cliche, uh, I won't say I'm in love. Woo! Yeah, I think that was a draw. You're a great singer. It was fun doing a duet with you. Yeah, you're not too shabby yourself. Let's do more in the future. Can we share the spotlight? Eh, why not? Choir practice right here, same time, same place. See you there? See you there. All right. Why are you, uh, why are you looking at us like that? Eh, nothing. Just seems like you two have some unfinished business to get to. So I'll leave you to it. Wait, what? How the heck do you know that? I got my ways. Okay, that's not ominous at all. Never met a ghost face like that. Bye, Meg! She was nice. Yeah, it just took bashing her head in and singing with her to get to that point, but I agree. So about that uh, unfinished business, uh, I was thinking through this whole experience, maybe it's not such a bad idea that we can be together in some capacity at least. No, Mark, you were right before. There are too many people that come after me. It's not safe for you if we're together. You know what? I think you're right. Don't be sad, Mark. We had a lot of great times today. You're right. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Goodbye, Megan. Goodbye, Mark.